Hi, welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin. And right now we're focused on how to add fractions with unlike denominators. And today we're going to use the set model. So what is the set model of fractions? Here I can take any set of objects. Today we're gonna to use two color counters, but you could use different colored crayons or different shaped manipulatives. And if you talk about, well, the red represent the numerator and the green represent the denominator, they can rep represent a set of objects that shows a fraction. So we're going to use the set model today to add these numbers together, one half plus two fifths. So here's the problem on our, on our background. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like with manipulatives. So we are adding the problem, uh, adding together one half plus two fifths. So I have my problem written out here so that students can easily see what we're trying to represent. And I'm going to use the set model to uh, set this up. So first I'm going to show a set with two in the denominator, and I'm gonna flip over one of those counters to show one half. Today we have the red representing our numerator or the parts of the fraction. Then I'm also going to show a set of five. And within those five, I am going to flip over two to show the fraction two fifths. Now I can't just add these counters together. That does not work. I have to think about adding parts of the fraction that have the same value or the same size. And right now each of these counters has a value of one half and each of these counters has a value of one fifth. So I can't easily add those together. So that's where we have to find common denominators. So I'm gonna do this by listing out my multiples for two and five, because I have a fraction with a denominator of two and a fraction with a denominator of five. And usually all we have to do is list out the first five multiples. So I'll get those written out here. Five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Now, what is the least common multiple between these two is 10. So that means I'm going to take this fraction right now that has a denominator of two, and I am going to translate that into a fraction with a denominator of 10. And I'll do the same thing here for this fraction with a denominator of five. Now I'm gonna slide that uh, two fifths down because I wanna have a little bit of workspace here while I figure out how I can find an equivalent fraction for a fraction with a denominator of two and now get it into tenths. So I see that I'm going to iterate this fraction with the denominator of two. I'm gonna iterate it one, two, three, four times, which means I'm gonna make four copies of the one half. So here I can see I've, I've copied it once. So one half is equivalent to two fourths. I make another copy. One half is equivalent to three sixths. I make another copy to see four eighths is equivalent to one half. And I make another copy to see that five tenths is equivalent to one half. So now I have a fraction here with a denominator of 10. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my fraction with a denominator of five. I only need to iterate this once to get to a fraction with a denominator of 10. So that means I copy the fraction so now I can see that two fifths is equivalent to four tenths. Now for this fraction, each of the counters has a value of one tenth. And for this fraction, each of the counters has a value of one tenth. Now I'm going to add the uh, fractions together by adding the parts of the fraction. But remember, I'm always going to be making groups of 10 because 10 is my common denominator. So let's go ahead and add the parts of the fraction. I'll move them over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so those are all my parts, and then I need to make a group of 10. So I'm going to bring in one of these yellow counters that has a value of zero to show a group of 10. Now I could make another group of 10. I can actually remove my multiples now. I don't need those anymore. I can make another group of 10 over here, but remember these yellow counters are just placeholders. They don't really have any value right now, so I could line them up, but I'm not really concerned with them at this point. So when I have one half, that was equivalent to five tenths, and two fifths was equivalent to four tenths. So one half plus two fifths, the sum is nine tenths. I have nine of the 10 counters in this set uh, representing our fraction. 
So that was a brief example about how we can use the set model to uh, show the addition of fractions with unlike denominators. Thank you so much for tuning in.